Hello everyone, this is Colleen Lemma, Starseed Astrologer and Spiritual Messenger with SacredSoulEmpowerment.com here to do your weekly angel card reading for Monday, June 1st through Sunday, June 7th, 2015. So we're into the first week of June and you'll also want to look at the monthly angel card reading for the month of June, which is also now up and posted on my YouTube channel. And also, if you would like to have a more in-depth look or understanding as far as the astrological energies of June, as well as the universal energy vibration of June, you'll want to read the Angelic Astrology article that will be posted on angelmessenger.net um, at this time by, by around the 1st of June. So look for that as well. So you may see that I already have... Um, cards set out here and that's because we actually are still in Mercury retrograde and as I did take one of this weekly angel card reading it didn't uh, process so I am now going with take two but wanting to use the original cards it seems like that happens a lot more frequently when Mercury is in retrograde motion and I can even see that in the interim I forgot to light my candle back here uh, so Forgive me for not being totally, um, totally up and running here with my wonderfully lit candle. But anyway, we want to take a look at um, the astrology for the week to start this this out. So, actually, this is a real going to be a really good week. There's not a lot of astrological energies, but they're positive, good astrological energies. And we start out on June 2nd with a full moon in Sagittarius. Now this full moon in Sagittarius is at 11 degrees and this is um, an energy to me Sagittarius is very optimistic, expansive, um, you know passionate in their own ways as far as passionate about their truth. You know this is about truth energies, freedom energies and being passionate about that. It's about breaking free of things that restrict which is interesting because if you, <clears throat> excuse me, listen to the monthly angel card reading, reading for June, we talk a little, bit, a little bit about the universal energy for the month of June, which is a five vibration, and, which is all, all about freedom and breaking free from old energies. So that's really fitting with this full moon. Now also on the same day, June 2nd, the moon in Sagittarius ends up opposing Mercury in Gemini and Mars in Gemini, as well as making a challenging square aspect to Neptune in Pisces. Now, usually the oppositions and the squares are very challenging, and I'm not saying there won't be any challenge with this, but not in the way that we have been experiencing challenge in the last few weeks. This to me is more about feeling grounded and centered and not doing too many things at once or being pulled in too many directions at once because Sagittarius is a fire sign and that fire element can be unpredictable. Sagittarius is also a mutable sign which means it's very changeable and open to changing directions and, and changing their minds about things. So I feel like with that moon in Sagittarius on the same day as the full moon, and it connecting with Mercury and Mars and the Neptune, I just feel like you might be overextended on a mental level or have too many things going on at once or having to think about too many things at the same time or maybe needing to make a decision and can't really, you know, be grounded enough to see clearly what that decision should be. Of course, Neptune brings in the element of a little bit of confusion. But I just, I still feel like all in all, even though we always, with full moons, we always have an intensity level that increases, I still feel like this full moon in Sagittarius is more positive and uplifting than the energies that we've been experiencing over the past few weeks. And then as we move into Friday, the 5th of June, Venus, the planet that rules love and relationships, money and finances, is moving out of the sign of Cancer and into the sign of Leo. And I feel like, again, this is another fire sign. Leo is a fire sign. And I feel like Venus here is going to be much more confident, much more assured, self-assured. Um, she's going to be wanting to have more fun and be more extroverted. 
And I just feel like she's going to shine here. I feel like the, the Venus nature, the divine feminine, I feel like shines her light really well in that sign of Leo. She's going to want to be seen, appreciated, nurtured. She's going to want to be paid attention to. But, you know, I think Venus is an energy that really uh, will go well with that Leo fire energy. As we move towards Saturday the 6th, Venus is then making a positive connection or relationship with the planet Saturn, who's still in Sagittarius but is retrograding back. And as we move throughout the month of June, we'll be retrograding back into the sign of Scorpio, which we had all of last year in 2014. Remember when we had Saturn and Scorpio and all the lessons of power and empowerment and purging old emotional energies? Now Saturn is going to be going back into Scorpio during the latter half of June for a time, for a few weeks, to give us that last opportunity to weed out all disempowering energies, thought processes, belief systems, emotions and feelings that we no longer need to hang on to. I don't feel like it's going to be quite as intense as it was all of last year because this is the finishing touches of that. However, with Venus connecting with Saturn on Saturday the 6th, Saturn still is in Sagittarius before it makes that um, shift back into Scorpio. So again, that Saturn and Sagittarius energy is much lighter. V uh, Venus is in Leo, which is fun, expansive, creative. And I feel like this is really um, allowing us to shine our light on our blessings or on being able to recognize perhaps our blessings because I feel like Sagittarius really rules you know, blessings, uh, again, the big picture, you know, what it is that we really kind of want to expand into and what we dream about. Okay, so that's kind of the energy astrologically for the month. We're going to be using Doreen Virtue's Angel Tarot cards for this weekly reading. Your special message card comes from Doreen Virtue's Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. And your stones of choice and as I mentioned in the last video that didn't quite upload and, and take, um, Spirit, my angels and guides, guided me to give you the three options of stones, but without telling you necessarily the metaphysical properties or talking about the chakras it relates to or anything else. They want you to use the creative aspect. They want you to use your intuition and in choosing your stone of choice. They also mentioned the word fun because... As Venus moves into Leo, uh, Leo is kind of an energy that deals with fun as a Sagittarius. You know, those fire signs, especially Leo and Sagittarius, is about fun and, and expressing yourselves. And so they said it would be fun if you just kind of went on your own intuition and choosing your stone for the week um, for your special message card. So anyway, the first stone here is Amazonite. And I will tell you the colors of the stone, although you should probably be able to see them here in the video. But Amazonite is kind of a blue-green stone, um, sort of a turquoise color, kind of looks like the color of the ocean might be. And your second stone of choice is Selenite. And selenite is a beautiful milky white kind of uh, stone. You can almost almost see through it. Even though it's a milky white, you can kind of see, like I could see my finger on the other side of the stone here. Your third stone of choice is ruby zoisite. And this has flecks of the red ruby against the green stone, which is the zoisite. So again, ruby zoisite. So we got Amazonite, Selenite, or Ruby Zoisite for your special message card this week. Okay, so let's start by turning over the first Angel Tarot card to see what the message is for the first week of June. We start out with the Ten of Earth. And the Ten of Earth says a very happy family life, financial security, and finding the magic in the little things of life. Now, I feel like that last phrase is really what they're wanting us to pay attention to, finding the magic, finding the magic in the little things, finding the magic in your life, realizing that you have magic within you to create the blessings that you seek. And 
considering this is the first card, I feel like it, it bodes very well for the positive message of the week. Again, the Ten of Earth, you know, the Earth is about manifestation. The Ten is about coming to an end of a cycle, completion, which means that you're 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 in the beginning stages at least of starting to create the manifestation of all the blessings of life of the magic in life that you're seeking and here we have a beautiful angel kind of a, a family of angels little children angels here they're out in nature they're enjoying themselves they have you know all the happiness joy prosperity abundance and security that they could possibly have so whether we're talking about family energies relationship energies career, life path, finances, all of this is um, things that are coming into positive manifestation for you. That there is a creation process at work here. And again, the blessings of the universe, the magic in life is starting to be shown. And I feel like that again is, you know, the last few weeks that we've had, have been very emotional and challenging in a lot of ways. There's been a lot of uh, ups and downs over the last few weeks, and I feel like this first week of June we start to we start to come out of that feeling of being challenged, and we start to break free, and we start to move into the possibilities and opportunities that our life really has to offer. We're starting to feel more uplifted. We're starting to feel more secure. And again, we're, we're coming into that sense of happiness and security and stability that we're seeking. As we turn over the second card for the week, we have the Seven of Water. Now, the Seven of Water says a complex decision, the need to do research, and stop procrastinating. This is a water card. It deals with the emotions, the feelings. And the number seven is about going within and it's about finding the wisdom within yourself connecting on a very deep spiritual level and sometimes this card you know can really deal with um, too many opera or too many um, what do I want to say too many things being shown to you at the same time so that you're emotionally confused like too many possibilities that's the word I'm looking for um, you see a bunch of cups here, and, and some of them the lights are shining above, and, and others of them they might not be as much. They're off here in the distance, but usually the seven of water means there's too much scattered emotional energy, and there's too many possibilities or opportunities to where you get emotionally confused. Now, I felt like this was not as negative and challenging as it normally would seem to be I feel like this is more about choices you know look at look at the various possibilities as just choices and tune in again go within with that number seven go within deeply to your spiritual essence tap into your positive emotional essence to feel out what you really desire to feel what might be the best energy for you. Sometimes this can mean an emotional decision has to be made uh, or a choice has to be made and that deals with the emotional nature or your feelings and that could very well be but still because we started out with that ten of earth card that talks about magic in life and security and stability and, and abundance and prosperity I just I really feel like this is more about having maybe many opportunities or many choices and you just have to go within and figure out which which is the best for you? What feels right to you? Um, and, you know, again, take your time. This is not a card to where you want to make necessarily a quick movement or a quick decision. You have time to really feel out um, and understand what might be right for you. And I, they direct me to that Mercury retrograde that we're still experiencing until June 11th. So, until June 11th, I feel like if you have the time, take the time um, to thoughtfully um, make the appropriate decision that feels right to you. And then your last card for this week is Major Arcana number 11. This is the Strength card with Archangel Ariel. The interesting thing about this is that it was either in the monthly angel card reading for June or it was in last week's weekly angel card reading. I can't remember, but I remember we had this very recently. And so 
We have this again, and the message at the bottom says, Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, and forgiveness and compassion. So we're needing to, again, release all, um, this, like it says, it says release judgments. Release judgments against yourself, release judgments against other people, release judgments about the situation or circumstances in your life, release worries, doubts, fears. Release all of that and come more into a sense of confidence and strength in the choices that you have and in the blessings of the universe that are being shown to you or the opportunities that are being shown to you. That's what I think this card is saying. You need to focus on your, your sense of independence. We have the number 11 up here, which is made of, up of two number ones, which is about your sense of self, your sense of individuality, your sense of purpose, your sense of strength and confidence. And it's about, you know, coming into the full essence of who you are. We have an angel here spreading her wings. She's on a, a tiger. She's moving forward, uh, kind of traveling forward on the tiger. So I feel like you need to spread your wings. It's time to spread your wings, step into your truth, step into your confidence, step into your sense of individuality as a person, as a soul that knows her direction, that knows what she wants, that knows what she desires, and knows know that you can have that. The two doves down here, I feel like, are symbolizing hope. You know, they're saying that there's there's hope here. There's hope that lies up ahead. Um, and she's holding a shield that's um, purple in color. She also has a halo of purple energy above her head. So there's a lot of divine protection and guidance from angels and guides and uh, the spiritual messengers to continue forward on your path. And I just really feel like this first week of June, again, is going to feel so much better and so much more uplifting. Um, like you have, again, a sense of purpose again, and you have this, this sense of confidence again that maybe you haven't felt for a little while because of all of the chaotic energies that we've been experiencing, especially in the month of May. So let's go ahead and see what your special message card is, depending on your stone of choice. For those of you that chose the Amazonite, Amazonite people, Mother Mary, and it says, expect a miracle. It says, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. This is a beautiful message. So again, you know, I feel like they're taking me back to May, and they're saying, yeah, May was was challenging and difficult and you, we were all going through an internal transformation. We were transmuting old energies. We were shedding an outer layer of energy that we no longer needed like a snake shedding its skin and then coming into a new energy, kind of rebirthing almost into a new energy. So it was really a lot of internal stuff going on last month. But now we're breaking free. Again, this month of June has a five vibration. We're breaking free from old confines, old challenges, old belief systems, um, old circumstances. And we're stepping into a new sense of the blessings that are ours to be had and to be claimed. So again, expect a miracle. And I, I look at this um, Mother Mary figure here holding a baby in the middle, but she's surrounded by a lot of angels. You're surrounded by a lot of angelic helpers and messengers right now. So the trick is to talk to them, pray to them, ask them for assistance, ask them for healing, ask them for guidance. A lot of times our angels can't intervene without us asking because that interferes with our free will. So I feel like this week you're supposed to be um, more in touch with communicating with them and then listening and watching for the guidance. But again, a very, very positive message. Your prayers are being answered, so hold on to that. For those of you that chose the Selenite, your message is from Coventina, and it says purification. It says, it is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. So this is a twofold message that deals with cleansing, purging, purifying, transmuting old energies. And it has to be done on all levels, the physical, the mental, the emotional, even the spiritual. So start with your physical body and put higher vibrational foods into it. Maybe stay away from some of the heavier, dense um, vibrating foods, uh, eliminate maybe meat from your diet, um, 
try to stick with fruits and vegetables, uh, eating more organically, drinking a lot of purified water and staying away from other liquids that might be sugary or have caffeine. So you're supposed to do this cleansing of the physical body because that's actually going to aid the cleansing on the mental and the emotional bodies to purge out old emotions and belief systems and thought forms that you no longer need. Um, I feel like here we have a lot of orange color here with Coventina. There's orange on the wings of the dove that she's holding in one hand. She's got orange hair. She's got an orange either moon or sun behind her. And this is all that deals with the sacral chakra, the creative center. So this is about tapping into your passion, your creative self-expression, even tapping into your sensuality and sexuality. Um, and that's going to help to purify away old energies as well. They said to not forget to also purify on the spiritual level. So call in Archangel Michael or all of the healers of the highest vibration of light to pull the cords between you, people, circumstances, and situations that are no longer in your highest and best interest. And by doing all of these things, you're coming into um, a sense of purifying yourself from old energies so that you can step into this new and happy cycle of the month of June. Then for those of you that chose the Ruby Zoisite, message for Ruby Zoisite, yay, another positive card, Abundantia with prosperity. And it says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. So again, abundance and prosperity. Now that's not always financial, but it definitely could be. So for those of you that um, are maybe starting out on a new career path or trying to be in business for yourself or dealing with some sort of money or financial matter, this bodes very well for the first week of the month that something really good is going to happen. The universe is bringing you that prosperity and abundance that you're seeking. But this is also about blessings. Abundance and prosperity is also about blessings from the universe, creative inspirations and ideas and just all kinds of uh, good energies, good health, you know, everything. So you're really um, coming into a week to where those energies, those blessings, that magic again is very much here with you. She's got this um, container and she's pouring out all these coins. And again, we have an orange color going on here because Abundantia is orange. The container that she's holding is orange. The coins are orange, even the clouds in the background. So we have a lot of energy that deals with the creative chakra, the sacral chakra, sensuality, expression, creativity. Um, this, these are things that you should be focused on during this week. Art, music, you know, anything that, that deals with your sense of creative self-expression and your passion. You know, doing your passion brings about the abundance and prosperity that you are seeking this week. So I feel like this is a very positive week. I look forward to moving into even the next week to see what that holds because I think Mercury will be going into direct motion next week. But until that time, I want to thank all of you for your support, your positive comments, um, your inspirations, and your support for, with what I'm doing. You know, a lot of you have sent in donations through my website, sacredsoulempowerment.com. I appreciate that. A lot of you have uh, signed up for appointments, readings, healings, um, so thank you for all of that. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on my Facebook posts on Colleen Lama and on Sacred Soul Empowerment, and also for commenting, liking, and sharing with my YouTube videos, the weekly and monthly angel card readings. Uh, again, check out the monthly angel card reading for June, if I haven't said that already. And until next week, I send you all many, many blessings of love and light.